Now this is what the car sounds like on the inside. It's real quiet. It's based on a Toyota truck, you know, so it's reliable. Uh, obviously anybody could fix it if you needed to. I can't think of anything you would need fixed right now. Well, actually, I take that back. You need to get the stereo fixed if you want to hear music. I will say that the AC does not work. Uh, it blows. It blows hard. The heater works great. That's what we use the most. Um, but obviously the AC doesn't work, so if you need an in-cab AC, keep that in mind. And it needs two new shocks in the back. They're air shocks. Uh, the, the actual price of the part is $52 a piece, so that's $104. Um, installation will run you maybe two, three hours total to get both of them on. Uh, so you look at probably average $75 an hour. So what is that? Uh, $150, $225. So it's a $300 something dollar, you know, for the shocks. Um, I can honestly say that's the last thing I can think of. So shocks, AC, and stereo. None of which we mattered. Oh. Man, there's a crack down the windshield. I apologize. That's that. It passed inspection uh, in Massachusetts, which is not easy. It's good until August of 2011. And um, that was in worse condition than it's in now by far. So keep that in mind. With full, complete honesty, this is the best car I've ever owned uh, in the condition that it's in right now. It's got a new transmission from Amco with a one-year warranty. That's transferable to you. Uh, it's got a new fuel pump and a new fuel filter, so you have to worry about that. I've had no signs of anything wrong with the engine. If there was, I would have taken care of it. That's just how we do it. Uh, what else we get new? Six brand new tires. That's about $1,100. The transmission was about $2,300. Um, what else? The refrigerator works immaculately. The stove, the burners all work. The sink, it's a double sink. It works when you plug it into water. All the lights around here work. Um, can't think of anything else brand new we put on. If you're gonna put anything new on it, if you want an air conditioner under the hood, you need to fix that. Uh, two new air shocks in the back, set you back maybe three, 350 total. You can drive it now without them, it's just bumpier. Um, and the windshield is cracked, which again, didn't bother us, but if you want it fixed, you need to do that. Um, that's kind of all I could think of. To be honest, I know a lot of these are gonna go for more, and they're gonna go for less. We bought this at a pretty cheap price, it was, uh, you know, 4,000 bucks or something like that. It had been sitting for two years. I'm pretty handy, so I figured I could fix stuff on my own. I couldn't. We had to sink another maybe five, six grand into it now to get it to the condition it's in. So don't be fooled by all these like low mileage RVs because if they're low mileage, then they're not being driven. You know, most people buy an RV, they drive it two weeks out of a year, and it sits for 50 weeks, which means all the seals are now leaking and nothing's working. There's not enough oil in it. Like, you know, it, a car needs to be driven every day. It's a machine. Everything needs to be lubed up, it needs to be driving, it needs to be in motion. And when it's not in motion, tires crack. We bought this with cracked tires thinking it was no big deal. We'll get some new tires on it. It was $1,100, you know? So uh, just keep that in mind. Whichever RV you end up buying, uh, I would sell this to a friend, no problem, because I'm not worried about it. It's going to be fine. It is a 1985 vehicle. Somewhere down the road, something's going to break, but that's with any vehicle you can buy. And at least you know this one. The engine is perfect. The transmission's perfect. The coach is great. It's a good vehicle, and if you're thinking about buying a brand new RV, you can buy this one, use it for what you need it, and sell it, and that's going to be less money than even just the uh, depreciation on a brand new car, you know? So, anyways, please email me, please call me. Uh, it's going to be really sad to let this thing go, but we bought it for our trip. Our trip is over. We're like getting back into regular life now. We don't have any vacation left, and um, it's going to be really sad to see it.